Hey, this is Snipes4664, and we are dealing with the typical Noid leak. Uh, I have regular impulse here. Alright, upon airing up, you'll notice the leak. coming from the top of the grip frame. So the gas remarker. Take off the grip frame. Take the regular off to make it easier. Alright, now put your regulator back on. And air it up once again. Now you can confirm that it's coming from the solenoid many times from the gasket. Uh, the first thing I would do at this point would be to test what's causing the leak. An easy way to do this is just to push down on the noid right where the screws are for this. My noid or my leak will go away when I do this, so I know my screws are just too loose. They've either backed themselves out or I didn't do it correctly in the first place, so you can either leave it aired up or take the air out and just tighten the screws. And there we go. That's fixed my leak. Didn't work. You're actually gonna need to take your note apart, so simply take it off the body. And you're gonna have to take these two screws out to access the spool in the valve. It's not the side close to the wires, it's the opposite side. So just take these two screws out. And take this cap off. And if you have a leak from the head of the noid around this area, it's going to be this seal right here and many times it'll be cut if it's been put in wrong or it's just dry and cracked so you also have a spring in there and to take the spool out this brass one just take needle nose pliers grab this pin pull it out many times leaks will be caused by either cracked o-rings along the spool or an excess of lube or not enough lube in this case it looks like there's too much so just take a paper towel and wipe off the old lube and take some new lube just not much at all Put a slight coating around the seals. And you're good to go. And take your noid. Put everything back. Bring back small end first. Line up the holes. And put the screws back in.
and you're good to go. You have a rebuilt Noid.